Talker, I am a doer. I love the shooter. Take away his future. Done. No. Done it. I've done it everywhere. I've done it in Stoke. I've done it in fucking Luton. I've fucking done it in Manny. I've done it in fucking Stockport. I've fucking done it down in London, alright? Who fucking wants it? Oh, you know that bit, do you? Yeah. Done, no, we got the Bob the Builder. Who cussed me last night on the, uh, on the line? <laughs> they got a landing strip. Yeah, someone said I got a landing strip, and I was like, yeah, I could fucking land at A380 on that bad boy. Look at that. That hairline is perfect. Anyway, and get a haircut today. Mm -hmm. You don't want me to cut my hair, do you? Whatever don't. makes you feel better. <laughs> it's so bad, because I can't lie. No, I, I do, I do like it, but it's just different, isn't it? It's just, yeah, like, at the moment I've got, like, old man's hair. Yeah, I don't like it right now. Like right now, it's just like old man's pubic hair. It's just not the one, not the one, guys. So that needs to get fucking snipped. Any updates for us? Wearing a natural bodybuilding worldwide jumper? <laughs> right. What an AJ. Yeah, I know, but natural bodybuilding worldwide. Are you a natural? Why are you smirking like that for yes. then, bro? Out of you, out of Vicky on the fucking thing. Wearing a natural bodybuilding worldwide jumper and... Uh, right. Right, we'll leave it there. Okay, so, any updates for us, Wix? I'm my checking back today. Yep got told off because I'm not actually sending over my tracking pictures. Yeah, same. But I've reached that point in off season where, I, I don't know whether it's a good or bad thing, but I just don't take pictures because I'm just like focused on performance. Yeah. I don't really care how I look and I feel like the more tracking pictures I take, the more I'm like, oh, you know, I'm looking fat right now. So I just, mm. I don't do it. And Lou was like, right, get your shit together and just send them over. So I'm doing that today. That's one of my updates. I might also be escalating my PDs. Okay, okay. I, I didn't think I didn't think you were gonna say that on camera, but no, okay, I okay, we were okay. Being honest, aren't okay, we? yeah, well, yeah. If you want to be honest, okay, yeah, we can. We can, it's we can a lie. Discussion between George and I because whatever decision I make, I know it's gonna impact him. And if you're in a relationship, I highly advise you do that. Yeah, it's really important to talk about if you are taking drugs, especially PED uses. Uses. We'll go with that. Whatever I just said. Yes, sir. Don't know what came out of my mouth. It's really important if you are with your your if you're. Come on, my fucking words out. If you're in a relationship and you are using PEDs, it's really important, especially the, the androgens which are, you know, going to impact your hormones, change you as a person during the phase that you're in. It's important to communicate. Don't just start taking drugs and expect everything to be sunshine and rainbows because you've got to think about everyone everyone around you, you mm -hmm. know? So not even short term, but long term as well. Yeah, like, long term. Talking about kids and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really important. I think the common mistake a lot of people do and, and that, this is why even for myself when I when I came off using androgens last year, there are so many people who are gonna be very in denial that the drug is the problem. They're gonna go, no, it's not the drug, it's not the drug, it's this and that, and this conflict that we've got in this relationship. But it all stems from from the use of assistance. And one thing that I promised myself when I started using androgens, I promised myself that if it is changing me as a person or Vicky is recognizing that this is an issue, I'm gonna take that step back. As much as it was very hard for me to take a step back because I was loving how I was feeling, I was loving the progress, I was seeing physical changes on a weekly basis. You know, I put six years, seven years of natural bodybuilding in. I was dedicating my whole fucking day to it and seeing very small progress that I was actually now starting to see like very quick results and it felt very rewarding, the hard work. Yeah. You know, I started to actually see progress in a short time like the amount of progress i made in the space of like 12 weeks it took me fucking about five years to make naturally i swear down like i saw so much progress so it's very hard to do that but at the same time like that communication is so key in a relationship especially with someone that doesn't understand luckily you're fucking smart mm -hmm. and you you know how these things impact people you know and see what happens and we do the same thing could you imagine being in a relationship with someone that doesn't train doesn't understand pd usage doesn't understand any of that it's it's yeah, a bit it's tough, isn't it? so that's why i think it's one of the important conversations we have with uh with our clients are considering going down that route because it's, uh, it's important to not only look at like the blood work side of it but also the the nugget like that needs to be in a good spot yeah but yeah, that's that's my update. Obviously, conversation between George and I, and if anything stems or then I'll that's talk a about word, it. Isn't it? Fucking hell, Brett. Um, I'll talk about it on um, on YouTube as well. Yeah, I'm gonna and sneeze. you? I'm gonna sneeze first. Pineapple, cabbage, tomato, banana, raspberries. Blueberries. Why would you do that? Why would you do, that? Fuck, <laughs> you do it to so. me all the time. Updates from yourself? Pretty heavy right now. Up there with the highest that I've weighed. I think I was 193.8 pounds or something. Nearly 194 pounds this morning. With For someone who's like me, like it's, it's a big boy, big boy weight for me. It's not anything that I've ever pushed to before. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling uncomfortable, I must admit. But at the same time, like my train is flying and it was something that I wish I did years ago. Yeah, I, wish I, pushed my, I wish I pushed myself years ago. Back in even the natty days, I wish I pushed 
push myself the way that I have done now. And why didn't you? Didn't believe in myself, held myself back. Like, I didn't have, like, until now where I've seen my training actually escalate massively. Yeah, I was always wondering when I was dieting, why am I never really improving in terms of strength? Why am I not actually doing stuff that I've actually never done before? And the reason why is because I wasn't willing to push to that level. But now I've pushed that level, I'm like, fuck, I'm actually loving the training. And this is what actually makes a lot of people grow. And spending doing that time, spending doing that for a long period of time, it's interesting. We could waffle on us. Let's talk chatting for six and a half minutes about this shit. Oh, we're very deep then. Normally our car chats are a bit bantery, a bit, you know. I fucking... don't think you were expected of me to say what I said. No, I didn't think so, you know. But, uh, you know, this channel's all about open and honesty. That's what you rate here. Why are you doing that weird little face thing then? Oh. Just put your tongue away because the boys are going to look at that and they're going to fucking start gagging for it. Talk, we'll talk about it on uh, on camera later, okay? Song today. Stay tuned towards the no to the end of the video. Get that. Stacey Beaker dumping ground. Lyrical genius, you're done now. Let's get in the fucking gym. Go on, shout something for the camera. Go on. I'll do it for Vicky. Let's get in the fucking gym, you fucking cunts. Come on. Who wants it? Let's get to the fucking gym. It's moving in day. Got my camera bag for all the vlogging stuff. People don't see behind the scenes. People just watch the videos and think it's easy. It's not. You've got all the bag and the lenses and the, the microphones and a the giant fucking anal bead. Bag wise, centrals for today are going to be. There we go. Another fucking thing I need to bring in. We also need. I won't show this side. Elbow sleeves. It's the only elbow sleeves I've got, by the way. That's the one I'm using them. Of course, the old logbook. And do I have a pen in here? We have pen as well, which is good. Vicky, do you need do you need knee sleeves? Um. You do. You doing leg press? And you going, Vicky? You going straight in, are you? And would you like fries with that? Oh, my headphones. Oh, thank fuck, they're in my pocket. Oh, could you imagine? I forgot the headphones. At this fucking gym, it'll be fucking dreadful. Right. What are you doing, bro? Are you zooming in my face for? What are you zooming in my face for? You wanna fight? Alright. No, no. Repeat that. Um, I love you. <laughs> See, this is a problem, guys. Like, recording, I come over in the corner, got a set all my stuff up, my tripod, got my camera bag, got my other kit. It's just fucking like moving in, isn't it? You've seen this session, and you might be thinking, oh, I've seen this session before, it's boring. But at the same time, what you need to be thinking. What? <laughs> Is that what I said? No. Did it make sense? Okay. You might be thinking it's boring, seeing the same old sort of shit. But what I want you to take from this is instead of thinking it's boring, start fucking thinking about actually, this is what I need to do to make progress. Bodybuilding is very simple. You can do the same shit every fucking week. And as long as you're beating numbers, as long as you're feeling good, you're getting a good pump from it, that's all what fucking matters at the end of the day. Stop flapping about with chopping and changing things because Chopping and changing, don't get me wrong, is, is funner maybe, but you never really gauge if you're actually making progress with anything. So if you notice, this is the same old sort of shit, George, I want something new. Fuck off to another channel then, because it ain't gonna happen, simple as that. Do the same shit. Dorian Yates used to do the same fucking workout every single week, all the time. Look how big that fucker was. Yeah, break the gear, the gear. But training's a big part of it as well. That's what I'm saying. Well, Vix looked at me going, it's all the gear. Anyway. So, as I'm going for the 45s today, 
My last warm up, I've gone by 2.5 kilos. So I'm gonna do 37 and a half for like one or two reps, maybe three, and then go straight into the 45s after that. When you are going up in weight, also go up on your warm up sets as well, if you get what I mean. Don't just fucking stick with the same stuff, like actually get progressive with them as well towards that working set. Should be easy as fuck, telling myself it's easy as fuck, taking my time. That's how it should be. Come in. Right, easy. Easy as fuck. Key to a brilliant set is always liquid chalk. It probably does absolutely fuck all when it comes to actually like strength. But in my head, it's like protection. If I've got my fucking chalk on, I can grip that dumbbell better, I can get it moving. So I would highly advise you've never tried getting some chalk on the hands for the old shoulder pressing. And um, I don't think you'll be disappointed. I don't think you will. So Vix is having a fucking chat, so you have to wait for her to be done, which is very annoying because I'm not going to do this myself. And there's no one in the gym that I really know who I trust with the spot. You know, you've got to fucking trust people because they pick those dumbbells up and, they, and then they're just holding your fucking shoulders and you're just like, this is not how I wanted to be spotted, but we'll just run with it. Three, two, one. That's it. I can't hear you. High incline did not go to fucking plan. I tried getting up the 45s, just couldn't get them up. And I gave myself a minute or two and said, you know what, fair, it's not there today. Sometimes it's like that. And I gave him 42.5s ago and they just weren't fucking moving. And I was like, fuck this. And I was getting that for eight good reps last week and I could barely get out for one. So I was gonna sack it in and I then did 37.5s for a set of 12, which is, the exact same as what I did last week, so I guess it's not a bad thing. Um, took myself outside because I get into these mindsets where I just can't be fucked anymore. I just want to go home. I just think it's fucking pointless. But at the same time, you know, I went outside and I was like, well, I've come here to record. I've come here to show you what fucking sometimes it is like. Not every fucking week you're going to progress, okay? You know, if I think about how much I've progressed in that high incline already, I've done it for like six weeks straight and I've just progressed every single time that I've done it. This is the first week that I've not progressed. That's fine. It's not there sometimes. And this channel is all about fucking reality. It's not about fucking the best and it's not about fucking this, it's about that. It's, it's about just general reality and just to let you know that just because your favorite influencer is always progressing, always looking amazing, it's absolute fucking bullshit. Absolute fucking bullshit, okay? Even myself, like, reality is you're not always gonna progress sometimes and I fucking hate it. I fucking hate it. It does my head in, like, honestly. I'm gonna go home and be pissed off because I have this all or nothing mentality and I want to be better every single time. Sometimes this isn't there, you just need to take it and that's it. So let's just crack on and do, do the best I can in the situation that I'm in.
Okay, okay, okay. So, summary of the session there. It was I, you know. I started off not very good. I took myself outside and we made up for it. Shoulder, like my pec minor shoulder, give me a bit of gist like this. But like I noticed when I was flicking back those dumbbells and trying to get them into position, this right side was just not having it at all. Lesson learned is take your time. There's no fucking lessons. It just wasn't good enough today, simple as that. And it's okay because there's always next week it's always next month, it's always next year to be better. So I'm not really too concerned about it, okay? Although I'm fucking pissed off. Fucking pissed off, let me tell you that. I'm fucking gonna do me any. Honestly, I'm fucking tapped in the head sometimes when it comes to it. Anyway, Vicky's looking massive. I'm gonna do a physique update, show you where we're at. Heaviest I've ever been so far. I look like fucking shit, guys. Like, look, man's fucking hairy as fuck right now like there's gonna be no lines there's no definition we'll do some relaxed shots as well my gut i ain't seen my penis in about fucking six months but it's standard stuff around here unfortunately that's what happens when you're five foot five and you've got a four inch willy all right anyway shut the fuck up we're gonna get into some posing it's always important to do that Physique, hello. 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 <coughs> Took those physique shots, just looked at the video. Fuck me, do I hate the way that I look. <laughs> I can't believe I look like that, you know? It's, it's a head fuck, guys. Trust me, the off season is an absolute head fuck. I'm literally debating, like, have I actually regressed? The beauty of this is I've been doing this now for eight years. If you are a shorter, person out there like me like I'm five foot five unfortunately when you gain 20 kilos of weight on a five foot five frame it's gonna look a lot different than someone who's six foot one for example I looked at that and I was like Jesus fucking Christ I'm challenging myself in a different way this year that's why I've said past few years I've held myself back from pushing to this and I told myself this is the year that I'm just gonna do it so whether it will yield more muscle who knows this sport is all about sort of trial and error it's finding what works for you trying it if it doesn't work do something else there's plenty of ways to skin a cat. Not one way is the right way. It's just finding what's best for you. So I may do this and diet down and actually realize that, you know what, this is not worth what it is. Yeah, it's just one of those things. I'll be honest, I'm like, had a shit session and looking at myself didn't help. And you start doubting yourself in your head, but uh, you know, I'm gonna post it, even though I don't want to, show you how the fuck we do it around here. I'm off doing my cardio now, 15 minutes. I do it about four times a week at the moment. Me at my heaviest, I need to do this because I'm a little oompa loompa and I get so out of breath, guys. Trust me, it's fucking hard work. And your heart is the most important muscle in your body. So train like any anything else. So we're just gonna do 15 minutes, anywhere between 120 to 150 beats per minute, about 90 to 100 RPM. We're back next following day. Weighed in this morning at 194 something. I can't remember exactly now. By far, by far the heaviest we've weighed, which is good. Also, shaved me nugget again. Getting used to it now, I must admit. What I did this time, shaved the size down a little bit. Bit more of a fade to the beard rather than what I had before, which made it almost look, look like I got a fucking round moon face. So embracing the old baldness. I need a bit of a tan though, because I'm a bit, a bit pale for me. A bit pale for me. Last thing I wanted to say on this video, we have a new sponsor. We are 
reveal not revealing announcing we are sponsored by supplement needs i remember funny fact i remember when i was down at university they had a hq in bournemouth funny enough i went over there with my little camera with my mate and i was like oh, i do youtube and the owner was not interested one bit he was like i don't give a fucking shit about this guy fast forward now six years later me and victoria are sponsored by them which is great. We wanted to say we really appreciate Insight, you know, in terms of what they've done for us over the last year. The direction that we want to go now in the industry, this is the the, the, the way forward in my opinion. And obviously supplement needs with the, the range, the products, the health side of things. This is definitely the avenue that we want to obviously go down and want to promote. So it really fits our sort of needs. It fits our goals as well. We can't wait. Can't wait. So we've got some exciting things to come up, guys. We're going to think about doing a giveaway, actually, weren't we? At some point for the Born Coaching page. 2,000 followers, weren't it? Uh, and do like a, a little giveaway if we are if we are supplement needs. See what they've got to say. So we'll be doing something like that like, on a frequent basis. And I might personally do some giveaways on the on the channel each week with like a pre-workout or something different each week that you guys can enter um, and, and support. So really exciting stuff, which I don't know where the fuck I'm going, if I'm honest with you. Anyway, comment down below, phone, if you've watched the whole thing. You can use code BORN, so B-O-R-N-E. Check out if you want to check out supplement needs. Links will all be down below. Same with coaching inquiries. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And if there's anything that you guys want to see, let us know in the comments and we'll sort you out, all right? Keep your nut in the game. Keep your fucking nut in the game. And we'll speak in a bit.